Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Strike Eagle, showing how to ripple a full loadout of K-Sales using the targeting pod. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Master arm on, air to ground mode. On the left screen, bring up the armaments page. Select air to ground armaments. On the right screen, go to the second menu page and bring up the Smart Weapons page. Select the outer two pylons with K-Cells and the weapons parameters are Direct, Step, Nose Tail Fusing. Go to Program 2 and repeat for the next pair of pylons. We have to set up the JDAMs on three different programs and that's because there's a bug with Smart Weapons on this jet and you won't be able to cycle between all of the stations in the program if you have anything other than two opposite stations in that program. Return to program 1 and bring up the targeting pod on the left hand screen. In case the targeting pod isn't turned on, jump into the back cockpit and ensure that the T-pod switch is in the forward position. Back in the front cockpit, select Waypoint 2, which is near to our target, and cue the targeting pod using the fourth button along the top. Select Expanded Mode and then long press Castle Switch left to soy the targeting pod. Press Auto Acquisition Forward twice to go into the tightest zoom. We're looking for three small groups of ground vehicles. On the Smart Weapon screen, press Next Station to cue the weapon in the current program. Auto acquisition depressed to get an area track. Double check that the targeting pod is in target mode. And TDC depressed to designate. On the smart weapons page, press T pod transfer to load the target into your selected weapon. Then press next station to select the next weapon. You can slew the T pod very slightly to designate another point for a second cluster munition in the same area. Transfer that target into the second weapon. Select Program 2 and then Next Station to ready the next pair of weapons. We'll follow the same process as for the first pair of targets in order to designate two targets very close to one another on this left-hand set of targets. Finally, select Program 3 and use the same process to designate the target for the last weapon. Cycle back to Program 1. HUD symbology is just like the JDAM. You've got an azimuth queue and ranging information. We're already in zone, so let's tighten the turn and point towards our target. Roll out on the azimuth steering line. Press weapon release twice to send the first two JDAMs. Select program two to ready the next pair of weapons. Release one and two. Program three for the center line. Weapons release. These weapons are fire and forget, so we can bug out and use the time to impact to see when they're going to hit the targets. Good effect. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found the video useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite mods.